Hi everyone, my name is Sam, I'm with Lava May X, and today I will show you step by step how to build our updated version of the DIY hand washing station. A few things we've changed with this version include downsizing the PVC pipe from three quarter inch to half inch, which significantly increased the water pressure, very exciting. Um, the unit is more cost effective, there are fewer parts, which means less construction time. And if you're interested or want to reference our original DIY hand washing station version, feel free to go to the link below. I've already drilled the hole. The first step is drilling the hole for the bulkhead union washer fitting. I've already drilled that with a hole saw here. And you can put this hole essentially anywhere. This is the freshwater bin again. So the reason I place it more to the side is just because I want to have less material. The gray water bin will be here. So because the pump will be here, just less tubing, less time. You can put the hole essentially anywhere. If you're worried about aesthetics, it's your preference where you wanna do that. But I used the hole saw. I drilled the hole for the bulkhead union washer fitting here. And now I will show you how to install it. Usually they come in two pieces. So in this case, I will separate them. There is typically a washer in the middle as well, which I'll leave attached to what will be the top of the bulkhead union washer fitting. And we just insert it in the hole that I've drilled. Take the lid off. And with the flat part of this piece on the bottom that will, that will be against the lid, you just screw it on as tight as you can. Next, I'll cut the PVC pipe that will come from this bulkhead union washer fitting down into the freshwater bin. That's how the fresh water will go into the tubing and ultimately out of the faucet into the gray water bin. To do this, set the lid to the side. You get your PVC pipe and put it into the bin. I would just put it on the bottom of the bin. This doesn't have to be perfect, keep in mind, but what I'm going to do is grab a marker and mark about halfway half, excuse me, half an inch below the top of the bin. The reason for this is I don't want the PVC pipe to go to the, completely to the bottom of the bin. Um, I don't want it to, I don't want the PVC pipe to go all the way to the bottom of the bin. I want it to be able to effectively pull water, but I do want it to be about a half inch to an inch above, just so we get the full capacity of what what is in the bin as far as fresh water goes. I also am going to cut it at an angle to prevent potentially pulling sediment from the bottom of the, of the bin if there is any. So again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just eyeballing where this, where the top of the bin is going about a half inch to an inch below that. Place a mark and I'll cut the PVC pipe with a PVC cutter. It's ratcheting so it's really nice. You can go slow. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see my orange mark. And then as I said, I want one of the ends to be cut at an angle. So I will just cut this at a slight angle. Again, this is to prevent sediment from potentially be, being pulled up into the tubing. Great, just a slight angle. Now I'm not gluing just yet. I highly recommend constructing the entire unit, including the galley pump and all of its attachments, and then doing a dry run to make sure that everything's working properly, then letting everything air dry or towel drying every single piece and gluing. So right now I will not glue, but I highly recommend, again, gluing once you've done your dry run, and you would glue the PVC pipe into the bulkhead union washer fitting. So once that's there, you can put the lid back on and to make sure that the to make sure that the PVC pipe is not touching the bottom of the bin, you can kind of press down and see if you have any leeway. I can hear it hitting the side, so it, it's it's fine. You can also just crack the lid a bit and peek in to see if every if anything's hitting. Um, and this looks pretty good and feels pretty good. So we're all set. The bulkhead union washer fitting will install a half inch male adapter. This just simply screws in. Before I screw it in, I'm going to apply PTFE tape or plumber's tape around the threaded parts of this piece. 
You can also do this when you're doing the gluing portion after you've done your dry run. I just prefer to do it now because the piece is already in my hand. Um, and I just do a few layers around all the threaded parts. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this is just to make the seal tighter because we're dealing with water. So in between the threads, it makes things a little bit more secure. Just screw it in as tight as you can. And now I'll cut a two to three inch piece of PVC pipe to place inside of the half inch male adapter in order to put this elbow on. That's a slip by threaded half inch elbow. So I'll cut this piece of PVC pipe with the PVC cutter. It doesn't have to be very big um, because it's just going into the male adapter so that the, ad the elbow can attach to it. Like this. Again, after your dry run, you would want to glue any piece of PVC that's going into another part. So you would glue here and then you would also glue here going into this elbow. Again, this is a 90 degree PVC elbow slip by thread. So just put this on. The final piece for this freshwater bin is the half inch hose barb. Again, this is threaded, so I'll place a few layers of PTFE tape around that portion, and then I will screw it into the half inch elbow. So our half inch tubing will attach to this and ultimately go down to our galley pump, which will have another attachment for tubing that will go to the faucet for the gray water bin. Since the fresh water bin is done, we will work on the gray water bin, which will have the sink as well as the faucet. I'll start with cutting the hole for the sink. This here's the basin. In order to do so, I recommend measuring the inner area of the sink basin and using those measurements to mark on the bin where you would like to place the hole for the sink basin. It should sit about here, and you just wanna be careful that the lip of the sink basin isn't going to rest on the lip of the lid because then the sink will be um, wobbly. So it's about 11 and a half by 13 and three quarters. So here's 11 and a half. So here is 13 and three quarters. By 11 and a half. So again, 13 and three quarters. So I have the markings for cutting the hole for the sink basin, and I will cut the hole using a razor blade with handle. And sometimes, if you wanna just get the shape of, of what you're dealing with here, you can position and draw yourself a little bit of a better outline with the, the bottom of the bin.
So we have a rigid hole for the sink basin. I'm gonna kind of shape it a little bit um, and make it a bit bigger in order to fit the basin the way I want it to sit flat with the lid of the bin. And if you're making multiple stations, I highly recommend the cutout from the official sinkhole. I think you should save it um, because that way you can just trace over your future bins and not have to do any measurements and you'll know that the sink will fit exactly how you would like it to. Template. Now that the hole is cut for the sink basin and it fits perfectly, I will start the construction of the faucet portion. So I'll drill a hole with the hole saw for the second bulkhead union washer fitting. It will sit right here in the middle. You can place this essentially anywhere you want. I think it works in the middle aesthetically. It looks good and it's the most functional, um, but if you're using a different sink basin or if the shape of your bin is different, just allow enough room between the bulkhead union washer fitting so that it's not resting on the sink basin and it's not resting on a ridge so that it can be the most level in the bin with the lid. So like I said, I'll, I'll drill the hole right here in the center where I would like the bulkhead union washer fitting to go. Make sure that the bin is, the lid is secure on your bin. Now that the hole has been drilled, I'll insert the bulkhead union washer fitting. Again, these come in two pieces typically, um, and there is usually a washer, which I will leave on the portion that will be on the top side of the bin. So push it in like so. Take your sink basin out so it doesn't fall. And then on the underside of the lid, you'll screw the second piece of the bulkhead union washer fitting. And again, this flat portion should be what's laying against the lid so that it stays secure and everything is tight. Great. So we've installed the bulkhead union washer fitting. I'll work on the underside. It's really short what we have to do here. We're just going to cut a two to three inch piece of PVC pipe to insert into the bulkhead union washer fitting and then we'll plug it off with a cap because there's no internal plumbing inside of this bin. So again, when you're doing your final installation of all of the parts and pieces, this is something else you'll glue. You'll put some glue here because it gets inserted into the bulkhead union washer fitting. And similarly, you'll put glue here because the PVC will go into this half inch PVC cap. Great, that's it for the underside of the lid. So now we'll construct the faucet on the top side. So I'll cut another Three, two to three inch piece of PVC that will go into the half inch male adapter, which I will put some PTFE tape around and screw into the bulkhead union washer fitting. Once again, that doesn't have to be super perfect. It's just so that the seal is tighter. <clears throat> and 
just screw it in as tight as you can. You can use a tool like a wrench to tighten it if you feel the need to, but usually with your hand it's pretty tight. Now we'll cut the two to three inch piece of PVC to insert into the half inch male adopter. This is another area you'll glue when your final run is happening. So a two to three inch piece of PVC going into the half inch male adapter, and then I'm putting a half inch PVC T onto that. Since the freshwater bin will be here and the pump will be down on the ground, I'm angling the, the PVC T this way just to mirror what we've done with the freshwater bin so that there's less material um, needing to be used and also less material exposed. Just looks better and works pretty efficiently. Next, I will cut a piece of PVC that will be, it will continue the height of your faucet. So this here is ultimately going to be the faucet. Again, the, the sink basin is here. Um, so I'll cut a piece that will come up here. We'll put an elbow, another PVC piece out, and a final elbow to complete the faucet. You can determine how tall you want the faucet just by putting in whatever piece you have here. And I recommend standing in front as the user would be just to see how tall you want the faucet. So you wouldn't want the faucet up super high, but I would maybe want it about here so that it comes out and drops down into the basin. To start the curve of the faucet, you will slide a half inch PVC elbow onto this, a 90 degree PVC elbow. Again, this would, some, this would be something that you glue on the final run, um, and then it'll just go on as such. You want this piece to be angled toward you, or if it's going, if your sink basin is to the side, you'll angle it to the side. Um, but this is ultimately gonna be your faucet here coming out, the horizontal piece at least. Again, you can put whatever length of PVC you have into the elbow in order to determine how far you want the faucet to come out. In this case, I like mine to come out about halfway into the bin, so it's dropping right directly down into the drain. And to complete the faucet portion, slide on another 90 degree PVC slip by slip elbow. And there we have it. On the remaining side of this PVC T, I'll cut another two to three inch piece of PVC pipe. And then the backflow preventer will be attached to that with another piece of PVC and the, the barb adapter. This slides in here. Onto this piece of PVC that I just inserted into the half inch PVC pipe, or excuse me, T, we will put on the backflow preventer. Here we go, it's half inch. There is an arrow on your check valve backflow preventer. This is very important when you install, especially when you're gluing, you need to install this with the arrow pointing towards the faucet. So whichever way the water will be flowing, which in this case is this way into the faucet, that is the, the direction that the arrow should be pointing. So again, you can see the arrow is pointing this way, so the water will go up and out of the faucet, and that's what I'll slide onto that piece of PVC pipe. I'll cut another piece, again, two to three inches of half inch PVC pipe to put on the other side of that backflow preventer.
slide it in. Again, don't forget to glue on your final run. So I'll install the final 90 degree elbow. This is a slip by threaded elbow. And it will be facing down, but just for the video's sake so you can see what I'm doing, I'll, I'll turn it upwards. Um, and then this is a half inch hose barb that I'm going to screw into the elbow. Again, I recommend wrapping a few layers of PTFE tape around any of your threaded parts. So I'll do that now. Screw that in. And this portion is what the hose will attach to. And that tubing or hose will go down to the galley pump. So I'll turn that back down. And you've completed the gray water bin. To complete the sink basin portion, I'm going to install the drain. I recommend using a marker or a pencil to trace the portion of the drain that will go inside of the sink basin. You can put the drain anywhere, essentially, inside of your sink basin, um, depending on what you think suits you best. I prefer to put it in the center a little bit to a little bit towards the side that the user will be standing on. The water typically collects in this area and I'd like to avoid the water sitting there by placing the drain a little bit off center. So trace the circumference of the drain you're using for the hole that you need to cut. And then with a razor blade, Carefully, I would, I would cut this on a sturdy surface that you don't mind marking up because the razor blade is going to go through this sink basin, through the plastic, onto whatever surface you're cutting on. So just be careful and mindful of that and make sure everything is really secure for your safety. And the hole has been cut for the drain. So with our drain, you can just easily slide it into the hole and it fits. And you've completed the construction of your sink basin. Don't forget to remove your sticker if you have one. Now that both bins are finished with their own individual constructions, we will connect the bins via galley pump and tubing. So I have half inch reinforced clear tubing here. I have four hose clamps and I have our galley pump. With the PVC cutter, cut your, this is 10 feet. Um, I would just cut it right in the middle. It doesn't have to be super precise. You will attach one end of one of the pieces you cut of the tubing to this hose barb here, and you'll slide a hose clamp over this end. The hose clamp is going to securely tighten this tubing to the hose barb. The attachment's pretty tight already, but just because we're dealing with water and it'll be used over time, a long time hopefully, um, this provides a tighter seal and ensures longevity. Push it on. With the drill equipped with a flathead bit, tighten the hose clamp. You can also do this with a manual flathead. I prefer to use the electric just because you can get things much tighter that way most of the time. It's also faster. Just tighten that as much as you can. 
then we're gonna attach the other side of this, this tubing to the galley pump. The galley pump will sit like this on the ground. So you wanna make sure to install the tubing to the correct side. So it'll be, the water will be coming in this outlet into the pump and out this piece, which will also have tubing going to the gray water bin. If you flip the pump around, the orientation differs. So just make sure whichever way you have the pump that you have the tubing correct, correctly assembled on here. So again, slide a hose clamp over this portion of the tubing, slide this onto the galley pump. This, this isn't as tight of a fit in comparison to the hose barb. So again, this is a great example of why we're using hose clamps for this portion of the build. Make sure when you are tightening your hose clamp that you have the tubing securely pushed against the plastic piece of the galley pump. So you don't want to you don't want to tighten it like this. You want the tubing to be completely flush. And then you'll slide the hose clamp over and tighten the hose clamp. Once that's tight, it should look like this. And we'll work on the other side. So slide a half inch hose clamp over one end of the tubing. And you'll attach it to the hose barb on the gray water bin. And the tubing is super curly and hard to work with right now. As you can see, it's lifting this off the ground. But within a few days or a week, especially if, when the unit is being used, the tubing loosens up and it straightens out on its own. This is moving around a lot, but once you have everything glued in place, it won't move like that. It'll be easier to work with. So with your final hose clamp, you'll attach the last open end of the tubing onto the galley pump. Slide your hose clamp over the tube before. Great. Now that everything is attached, it should look like this. And once again, once the tubing has loosened up, the galley pump will sit flat against the ground. It does have attachment holes, so if you feel the need to attach this to maybe some plywood or a different type of platform to create more security, feel free to do so. Um, usually, these are fine on their own though. Um, and you'll just pump it and the water will be pulled from here, the freshwater bin, down into the pump and back out up into the faucet and into the sink basin. And that's it. We've officially completed the construction of our new updated DIY hand washing station with Lava May X. Again, I'm Sam. And if you're interested in our original DIY hand washing station, feel free to click on the link and all of the information is on our website as well. So check us out.